Hello, welcome. My name is Huey Bear Twenty One O Four, bringing you a, another review for PlayStation Four. Today's review will be Mad Max. Now, I've always loved watching the Mad Max films. Number two's been my favorite since five years of age. Number one, I watched till about when I was twelve, which I am now. And third one I watched when I was 12, and I just didn't like it. It was so, so boring, and it focused too much on the story than awesome car chases. Anyway, this is Mad Max. What you'll be doing most in this game is driving around, doing story missions, and upgrading your magma op your magma -ma -ma bish It's a very stupid word, and I'm not going to say it again. So this car you build, it requires scrap, which we'll find around the world. Now, who is building this car is a man in the back named Chum Bucket. You find Chum Bucket after your car, the black on black, has been stolen and salvaged. He made a deal with you to build a new one, only build a new one for Max. If he takes him to the Plains of Silence, I believe they're called. I don't know why Max wants to go to the Plain of Silence. He just does. And it's not really explained much in the story. So along the way, Chum Bucket will, f will upgrade your car. He, you can upgrade Chum Bucket to fix it faster in case it gets damaged. <coughs> Parts are quite crucial because... The longer in the story you get, the harder the game is going to get. Like, enemy vehicles will start to get armor, they'll be more stronger. You'll start to encounter lots of different types of cars. <clears throat> like Thunder Poon ones that shoot at them. You've got little speed buggies, the one on my side, who ram into you no matter what. <clears throat> and flamethrower ones on the back. Now, the story in this game is quite weak it's got some good parts in it <clears throat> story missions are very awesome but they just get boring after a while and the reason it's so weak because Mad Max the movies has never really been that strong point on story yes it has a good backstory how why the desert here where everything go but the story that's in the world? Not that interesting. <coughs> Got some phlegm in my throat. Sorry about that. And, hmm, I've got to say. That's right, the car chases, the gameplay. <coughs> well, I'm not feeling good today. The gameplay you'll be doing most of on foot and in car, just like in the movies. And most of the movie takes foot makes place in the vehicles and car chases you can find convoys along the way on these black dust ro roads oh thanks for that <coughs> you can find these convoys and you can destroy them to get hood ornaments hood ornaments are quite crucial not that crucial but it helps you upgrade your car say more speed efficient less fuel takes more damage and Every hood element's different. <clears throat> now, how you see there, if your car gets damaged, Chum Bucket will get out and start repairing it, which is quite good. But if you stay in the car, it will just be destroyed and you will die. <clears throat> so, what should we? So, the characters in this game are, are Max, Chum Bucket. A lady you find along the way that has a daughter, which kind of reminds Max of his previous family that he lost during the war. I believe that's how, why the desert's here, is because some oil thing exploded. I don't know, I haven't watched Mad Max 2 in a long time. And the villains are quite interesting. I think he's called Toe Cutter. And... He, 
you kill them straight away in the game. Like, it's the first thing you do. You don't even do it, it's just a cutscene. You put a chainsaw through his head until he comes back and wants revenge. Toko's story is quite bland and boring, but he makes for an awesome villain with the fights. Now, gameplay on Max is very awesome. <clears throat> The combat you'll be doing most on foot, it takes it from the Arkham games, which, like Batman Arkham from Turtle Rock Studios. It's not as refined as Batman, but it is really g gruesome fighting. Like, you break people's bones, your blemishes are being busted open, teeth are being flying out of people's mouths. It's all very nasty. <clears throat> and it gets incredibly gruesome in big groups. And now the different enemies that are in it. Like on foot. There is people who can charge at you. People who you have to dodge. Because they've got knives. You've got wall pups. Which is the white ones with no armor. They're extremely easy. And die in about 3 or 4 hits. And then there's all different factions of different ones, like one, like some enemies who crawl in the shadows. It's all very disturbing. So, and also the thing you can do in the game is go to enemy base camp, like I'm trying to do now. This was a fail, but I thought I could try to do it in their enemy's car, even though they said I could. But it's not really working that well for me, as you can see. You can take these by trying to get through the base's defense in the front, or you can try to find a way in the back. Not all camps will have a back entry. Once you get through these, you can fight a lot of goons until all of them are dead. Until you can raise a flag? I'm not too sure. But, as soon as you kill everyone, some people from different factions that you are friends with, that become and they will take care of it and that's how you get most of your scrap because they'll all put scrap in for you when the patrol cars go out and if and they find any in the camp they can salvage <clears throat> um well what else is there to talk about covered characters gameplay story setting oh no actually just a quick side note, that um, Mad Max was set in Australia, which is my country that I live in. Yes, I live in Australia, deal with it if you don't like it. And <clears throat> it's quite fits the description because most of Australia is desert. Even though everyone lives around the coast, because that's where water is and you can purify and have to get fresh water, most of um, the outback, which is the, the heart of Australia, it's very, very, very hot, dry as all buggery, and not many people live there. How many people do live there, and it's quite impressive what they do. I mean, it'd be a bit hard because, well, you can't really farm many crops. Anyway, we're here for games, not culture. <clears throat> Just want to let you know for that. Um, hmm, well, there's nothing I really talk about this game, because normally my reviews aren't that big, they're just nice and quick ones, just like to run down the game, have some gameplay going. Um, yes, an announcement to make, I will be doing a new series called Bear vs. Bosses, where me, Huey Bear, 21 of all, will be doing and trying to defeat boss battles. No matter how hard or how easy they may be, they may be, just put your request in the comments and I'll try my best to defeat them. If it's a game I don't have, will take a bit longer because I'll need, I probably need money to buy it. And if I don't get to the bosses in time for a different one, oh, well, that's just a bit sad. But I will eventually get around to it. And go have a look at. Raider 2200. He's a friend of mine from school. 
that he makes some quite decent content. He also uses Share Factory. He makes Black Ops 3 videos. He makes some random things. He did a review on Just Cause 3. And he's not uploading that frequently because at his house he has no internet. Anyway, <clears throat> those are just some announcements. I just want to get out the way. My name has been Huey Bear2104. And this has been my review on Mad Max for PlayStation 4. Goodbye.